My wife lived in Tucson at the time, and I live in Brooklyn. I work at a, at a hospital in Brooklyn, and I, I came down to the post office because I was mailing her a package with VHS, if you remember those, several VHS tapes. And uh, um, I was leaving the post office. I get off at 7. I'm leaving the post office. It's now coming up on 8 o'clock. All of a sudden, walking down through uh, what is Borough Hall, all these black SUVs with lights flashing, no identification, come flying down Court Street. And my first thought is, okay, maybe they're moving a high-profile prisoner from the jail or to the jail. But they were going away from the jail, and they were headed down towards the Brooklyn Bridge, the exit ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge. There's nothing down there but the exit ramp and the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. Where are these 10 SUVs, more or less 10, at least 8, where are they going and why are the windows black? Why are they solid black? There's no identification on them and the lights are going. I said, something's wrong. I don't know what it is. I went, I got myself a sandwich. I went up to the, uh, to the pharmacy and I was getting my drugs. He doesn't know until 9. It was 8.45. I heard all the sirens outside. And some woman came walking in off the street and said, I just hit the World Trade Center. And I thought, well, she doesn't look crazy, you know. But uh, the sirens and the smoke kind of threw me off. So I walked outside and showed up this big hole in the, in the side of the World Trade Center. And I just stood there looking, and I was talking to one guy on the street. I said, you know, hundreds of people are dying as, as we're standing here, you know. And I didn't think nothing of it, then it, then it clicked on me. Wait a minute. Exactly one hour previously, it seemed like some federal, state, or city agency was headed towards the exit ramp of the Brooklyn Bridge because you couldn't go across on, on the correct side because it would be too clogged with cars. It's rush hour. So how would you get across with these sirens and lights and everything? You'd go up on and against traffic. This so was before the plane hit. This is one hour before. Wow. And I said, they knew something. Now, I wrote to a couple of reporters here in the city who do columns and whatnot, and uh, I said, you know, look, you've got some juice around here. Can you uh, um, ask some questions? Maybe you know somebody. I mean, I know you know cops and people in the city hall. What was going on at that particular time? Never got an answer. Never an answer. No one seems to know about that, but I saw it with my own eyes, and I said, you don't use the, like, 8, 10 SUVs like that, completely black in color, blackened windows with the, with the lights, you know, like a Kojak, they take it out and they put it on top, or they put it up on the dashboard. Those flying down the street, and they were going fast. It's like they knew something was about to happen, and they were trying to get there to prepare for it or whatever. I don't know exactly what what their uh, uh, modus operandi was, but I knew that something was going on, and it wasn't just like a, a, a shooting in the street or a stabbing or something like that. Not at 8 o'clock in the morning with 8, maybe 10 SUVs. It doesn't happen like that. And if it was some crime like that, it would be just the regular police cars. It wouldn't have been this. Or the, the, the emergency uh, um, people, uh, not EMT, the uh, um, emergency service unit, the ESU. That's who it would be. Not unmarked cars. This was wrong. Something was wrong about this, and I knew then. And I told her, I went home and I, I heard that the first building had come down. When I got off the bus, I went to, uh, uh, to vote. It was election day, you know, and nobody takes my right to vote for me. So I, I go walking, and one guy says, the building fell down. I said, holy shit. So I went home, I watched it. When I came out, they told me the other one went down. Uh, I went home, I watched it on TV, and I called her immediately. She was sleeping in Tucson three hours earlier, and I said to her, I said, I'm okay. And she said, what are you talking about? I said, turn on your TV. And then I told her, I said, I saw these, these SUVs. I don't know what was going on. Uh, something was up. I don't know what it was. Uh, but I think they knew about it in advance. And that's, that's my little piece of the story. Hmm. And I, you know, I, I wish I could believe like, you know, the other people and say, hey, what the government said is true, but I know it's not. Something was up. Thank you.